Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the 125 subscriber special. This is going to be a short quick vid on the Tauron II, the Hungarian tank for the Italian tech tree. In this battle pass season, sitting at level 15 is the easiest one to get from this season's battle pass. I have a handful of things to address and we'll hopefully get them out of the way quickly and this should be a relatively fast match. I don't plan on I don't plan on doing too well, if I'm honest. This thing is a medium tank sitting at the battle rating of 2.7. And, uh, oh boy, she's something special. This thing is all kinds of oddball. There aren't that many Hungarian vehicles in the game to begin with. And let's face it, it's just unique. It's a nice little unique oddball tank from the Hungarian sat in the Italian tech tree. Now, this tank features a couple of weird design elements. Um, it has two coaxial guns. It has one in the turret, obviously, and one mounted to the chassis. Uh, they are both 7.7 millimeter, I believe. Uh, they're either 7.7 or 8 millimeter. And the main cannon is a 75 millimeter. Now, it's a short barrel, so it doesn't have a lot of velocity, and it doesn't get good shells doesn't really get all that great AP shells. Well, I mean, that's it's okay. It's not horrid, but it definitely struggles. Um, Mobility-wise, it's fantastic. For a medium tank of this tier, this is a pretty fast little machine. Uh, except it's not little. It's, um, it's, it's medium size, that's the point. Not a light tank, don't expect it to go zooming around the map at mock speeds like all the other fast flankers do. But you do have some fairly decent armor. Uh, granted, things like Panzer IVs will, will eat you alive like Swiss cheese. And if you find yourself at the wrong end of a Stug 3, it's a problem if you can't take out his gun in time. Um, other than that, it's hard to say, really, how this tank will perform overall for anybody else driving it. I like it, personally, but I can acknowledge that it's not the best. <clears throat> Meanwhile, my teammate, Stuart, takes a point. It has, uh, obviously, as you can see, this graded space armor, and the thing special about that is, at this VR, the only kind of HE shell you'll have to worry about Thanks to this is from the Sturmpanzer, and that's because the Sturmpanzer has a freakishly large 380 millimeter doomsday launcher, like that. That was it. That was an HE shell. Now I don't know if that was exactly from my left or not, but that was an HE shell. You see, little damage, just treads. Just hoping this uh, Stuart can help. Defend the point. Wherever it was, he's somewhere back that way. Its uh, rearward maneuverability is fantastic, actually. It can reverse out of a situation pretty fast. Uh, problems arise, though, with forward mobility sometimes. It just doesn't want to rotate the chassis. It has something to do with how the torque curve fits it. Uh, but yeah, nice little nifty tank. Uh, I would like to state I have a couple of upcoming videos, like the 150 subscriber special is obviously coming soon. Uh, at the time of recording, we are set at 146, 147 subscribers, so we expect to hit the 150 mark, boys and girls, and non-binary individuals. Uh, it's pretty soon, like maybe tomorrow, day after release or day after, after, kind of two days after thing. Oh, shoot. What's that? That's that. That's a no-no. Oh, he bounced. What are you? So, that's a Chinese. Uh, nope, that was a T-70. And wherever he just shot me was impressive. Or lucky. Holy frick, that was lucky. <laughs> I don't think he meant that. That was just shooting to shoot. That was not strategically placed at all. 
It just sort of aimed for my middle region and happened to hit everybody at the same time. Well, you guys could probably see some issues arising uh, from that fact that he just instantly annihilated. This thing's armor is not the best, I've said before. Anyhow, uh, Forza videos are coming up. I, uh, I'm sorry in advance if the picture quality is poor for this video and upcoming videos. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to fix things. It's just, it's just the best I can do right now, unfortunately. And that's what we'll be with for a little while. Um, I, I have a video uh, hitting 19,000 views soon. We're at 18,600 on that vid. It's like three-year-old video of me killing Bowtime Gaming in Tank RB rank 3.7, not rank, uh, battle rating 3.7, 4.0-ish range. Um, Bowtime actually left a comment on that video just a few days ago. Uh, I cannot express my feelings of joy. I've always, I've always wanted to have some kind of interaction with him. He's the reason I got into War Thunder in the first place. Uh, six, seven years ago, I had to wait for it to get patched to Xbox, even though PlayStation already had it. Uh, so I got my first time to play War Thunder was on October 31st, 2018. And I think I actually uploaded a YouTube video the same day me flying in the British Air Tree in Air Arcade, because I didn't know any better. I didn't know how the UI worked, I didn't know how you change modes. I just know that I finally was playing a match of War Thunder and I couldn't be happier. You know, it's a very, it was a very special moment for me. My first ever matches, ah, bit my tongue. You can't, you can't experience that exact same feeling again. It's just sort of, it's just how it is that time around. I've been playing the game ever since. I'll be playing the game four years by October. This year, obviously, it's been very, oh my, that's a big, that's a big, big, that's a big danger zone. Hi. Um, can I take his gun? Nope. Not taking his cannon anytime soon. Oh shit. Don't look at me. I don't exist. Took his track. Uh, I'm gonna murder his barrel now. Kill assist! Yay! I'm, I'm happy to take a kill assist because that thing is a danger, danger box. SU-85. Or SU 122. Oh, even better. Yeah. So, as I was saying, he Bo was an idol of mine, and getting to just even have a small comment section conversation with him in the first place was special for me. made me realize that, you know, sometimes you just get, you happen to get your big break. And I think that's kind of what's happening for my channel right now, is I'm starting to get one of those big break moments where uh, the channel's just climbing in views and sub count. And my most recent video, aside from this one, the F-104S Starfighter episode has almost 100 views right now. My channel viewership has definitely gone way up. Um, just hard to express the gratitude. I never thought the channel would go past a certain point. I thought I would be stuck below 100 subs for the rest of my channel career. Um, but, you know, clearly that wasn't the case. Fate had other plans, and I was blessed by the algorithm, so here I am now. Welcome all new viewers. It's just crazy. All new subscribers and viewers are very welcome. I hope you all stick around for the channel's growth in the future. Just, I'm so happy. I have, a, I have a question for everybody who's watching the video right now. If you guys could leave a comment down below. They added the Israeli tank tree this update, Wind of Change. Um, should I buy 
the M51 Premium so I can start grinding the Israeli tank tree for video content? Or do you guys want to wait the two months-ish, month and a half, two and a half months uh, for me grinding in the air tree and maybe show off something that I've always wanted to be in the game? So it's, it's a very special vehicle to me, it has a significance I can't begin to describe fully or properly uh, to me in specific, it's just how it is for me. Oh, frick, he's still alive up there. Hello. I don't think I can pen him with this, not the told him. Critical. Oh my, I actually just landed a crit on him. Oh, Stutzwagen. The Swedish, they're too powerful. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to take his gun, but I couldn't really see him, and he's got that bush on his head. <laughs> How it goes, I guess. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just so excited. All the new content. Um, they added the... There's a pack that's free uh, with the Winds of Change update. Every player gets a free Winds of Change battle trophy. And what this battle trophy is, is it gives you three free days of premium account, 50,000 lions, and two 15% boosters. One for Silver Lions and one for Research. And both of these last 10 matches. So if you've just received that premium account, you've got a vehicle that you're very good with that's a premium, and you activate that booster, you can just shazam a lot of money into your Soda Lions and research counts in just a few matches. Like, you could boost your economy way out the window. So I think, I think that was kind of the point, because there's so much new content. Uh, especially speaking in the, in the Israel tree. Like, look at all this. Look at all this. This is all very expensive. Tanks are expensive to begin with, especially starting at 6.0. 200k to start. Of course, I can't purchase this vehicle right now, see? Uh, play the game to complete all specified game tasks or purchase a suitable bundle. Extra, they're, they're in closed beta test right now. What did I just do? I just pressed something I didn't mean to press. Ah, it took me to the, it took me to the packs. I'm out. Anyway, so yeah, the M51. I like it. It's a, it's basically a really souped up Sherman. A really souped up Sherman. Oh. Oh, that match from the Italian tree is over. Uh, let's just back out here and, and research this, yes, so just to get tree rolling. Anyway, like I was saying, M51s are basically a really souped up Sherman, M51W. So this uh, has heightened mobility, a little bit of extra armor, and a 105 millimeter cannon with high enough penetration to go through the front of a Yag Tiger at range. That is just, the gun alone is just so worth it, I feel. It's a $40 pack. If you guys feel that I should grind the Israeli tree, uh, the tank tree now, or wait until the closed beta is over and grind without having money. Of course, that means no tank, uh, no tank tree, content for Israel until either the next major update or a couple months from now. It's kind of your it's kind of your guys' decision. Should should wait a few months or just start going for it. You know, skip ahead or wait a few months. It's is your all's choice. Leave a comment. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It's been Ace. <laughs> Hope to see you all again in the future. Bye.